Hi everyone, I want to show you how to create some charts in ggplot2. The dataset we are going to use is called diamonds. Diamonds dataset is already in ggplot2 library, so you don't have to import the data. There are quite some records and 10 variables. The most five important variables are price, carrot, cut, color, and clarity. There are five other variables, but I'm not going to analyze them. First variable is cut. As you can see, shallow cut and deep cut uh, do not reflect the light uh, correctly so that the, the diamonds would not appear as bright as when they are in excellent and ideal cut. There are five levels in the dataset. Fair, good, very good, premium, and idea. Uh, color means whether the diamond is colorless or has a faint yellowish color. So the best color are colorless and the next one is a near colorless. There are many levels or grid for clarity. As you can say IF is the best, I1 is the worst. Let's take a look at uh, a number of diamonds in each cut. As you can see, uh, lots of diamonds are in premium and ideal cut. So in terms of cut, it seems uh, this diamond set has good cut. As you can see for the clarity, I1 and IF are very few, which means the worst clarity and the best clarity are not that many. What about color? Color are evenly distributed among different grids. The analysis focus for this data set is how price is correlated with the four C's. When you analyze correlations among variables, Scatter plot is the best kind of plot to plot the correlations. The first thing we will analyze uh, is the relationship between carrot and price. Uh, we all know that as uh, diamonds get bigger, usually the price goes up. For this chart, I added a third dimension, clarity. As you can see, the orange dots represent the worst clarity and it significantly reduced the price. But you can also tell the chart is too busy. Can we just take a look at the some subsets of the data? I selected two subsets of the data to create the charts again. You can see uh, left is uh, about uh, the diamonds under one carat and the right chart is about the diamonds above two carats. Clarity did influence price. This is more evident for diamonds above two carats. If you look at the um, legend, you can see clarity grid is not sorted. Um, it should be sorted from worst to best or the best to worst. I want to rearrange the legend so that it is sorted. In the next chart, I'll show you the sorted legend. In addition to the sorted legend, I also want to add another variable called price per carat for all the diamonds with weight heavier than one carat. Ha, here we go. Uh, the best clarity is that orange color, can you see? Uh, it's uh, higher in price. And then the worst color is uh, that uh, pinkish. Um, the price is lower. But you can make it uh, more illustrative when you use the manual color assignment. Uh, the code is in the notes page. 
In fact, all the codes are in the notes page. So when you see this, it's quite clear that uh, the purple uh, color is the best uh, uh, clarity and the blank one is the worst clarity. Now let's talk about uh, a color. Uh, which color grid has higher price? This one is a little bit difficult to read. So I manually assign the color to different uh, grid. So there are only two colors into two uh, different groups. Now you can see the blue ones uh, are higher in price, orange ones are lower in price, so that you can see color does make a difference in terms of price. Um, I select a different um, subset. Uh, all the diamonds uh, uh, sold more than $10,000. Um, this is the color assignment automatically done by ggplot. Again, I do the manual uh, color assignment. Now you can see uh, the blue ones re represent uh, the color grid that is colorless and they are more expensive than the orange ones. The last one is cut. Um, as you can see, in this data set, there are not uh, too many uh, uh, diamonds in the fair cut uh, the, that is represented by the blank ones. And uh, the fair cut reduced price significantly. Now, um, if I plot the carrot versus uh, um, price per carrot, uh, the pattern is more clear. And you can see fair cut diamond yield is under 5,000 per carat. Thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy data visualization with ggplot2. If you want to learn more about R, I recommend the following three courses in DataCamp.